today I'm going to measure the focal length of different powers of magnifiers. I've put on now a one times magnification and as you can see the vision is slightly blurred. I'm going to bring the reading chart in, the test chart in, and just check to see if that's still blurred. And that's in focus now, so if I measure that, this will tell me the focal length of this. And that's at 1.9 meters. So my next one will be one and a half times magnification. Right, so now to, because of the stronger magnification, I'm going to need to bring this in closer. still slightly blurred so I bring it in a fraction more now we have it nice and clear so again I'll just measure this for the focal length That's at 1.5 meters. The next lens I'll try is two meters. It's two times magnification. And you'll see again now that this is blurred again. So I'm going to bring it closer again. It's in focus, but I think I brought it too far. That's just about in focus, so that's where I need to measure from there. That's at 1.3 meters. Again, that's just slightly out of focus. So I'll bring the reading material closer again. And that's nicely in focus now.
and that's just at one meter now. The next lens I've put in front is three times magnification and I can see that needs to come in closer and that's when the focus on it. Now this does not show it accurately but that is 0 0.9 meters because the camera keeps running in and out of focus for you. So it's trying to do the work of what the movement of the chart is doing. I am going to try something else now. I'm going to put 20 diopter lens in front of the camera and see what happens. Right, I now have a 20 diopter lens and I'm putting that in front of the camera. That'll need to be brought in. And that has to come in quite close. And see as I move this about it's not getting very well focused at all is it an air vision chart As you can see, that's brought it into focus, but that is only 10 centimeters away. 